take a momentary break from our Commitment 2014 coverage to say goodbye to longtime Congressman Howard Coble. His 30-year career representing North Carolina's 6th District ends in January. He sat down with our Bill O'Neill. What are you going to be doing? Well, someone asked me the same question, and I said I hadn't made any plans. He said you'd better make some plans. He said for 30 years you have had no no spare time. Pretty soon you're going to have nothing but spare time. You better be thinking about it. So I've got to put my thinking cap on. We're out by Julian. Julian area. Pictures from his days growing up in southeast Guilford County to a portrait from his days in Washington wearing his by now famous jacket. The jacket's been better known than I am, I think. <laughs> All packed away. Later this month, the final goodbyes to the members of his staff. Give me an idea what's that going to be like for you? Well, it'll be bittersweet. Uh, looking forward to coming home permanently, but at the same time, I've been blessed with real good health, good good staffers, and saying goodbye to the staffers will not be easy. It'll be especially hard saying goodbye to Janine Osborne and Ed McDonald. Osborne served as head of Coble's Alamance County office for 30 years. McDonald served as the congressman's chief of staff for 29 years. Perhaps no one will miss the retiring congressman more than Boy Scout leaders and Christmas parade organizers. He attended more Eagle Scout ceremonies and waved at more parades than anyone in recent memory. Over 200. But I don't know exactly how many, but probably 225 probably. That's amazing. How, how do you get up to 20, 200 plus Christmas parades every, all, all your career? Well, the, the word just got out, you know, call the Cobalt office. He wants to ride this parade. You could challenge his knowledge of high school mascots, but you'd lose. The high school mascots have become my hobby. And uh, someone said, Howard Cobalt knows every mascot. I said, no, I'm not that smart. I don't know them all, but I do know you're a patriot. How about Northeast Guilford? Northeast Guilford would be the, the mighty Rams. That's my, my kids. How about Paige? Paige the Pirates. That's my other kids. I knew you'd have those down. Oh, yeah. yeah. How about Ashboro? Blue Comet. The congressman who won his last seven elections by an average of 75% of the vote used high school mascots to bond with voters. It started, Bill, with a visit from Eastern Randolph High School. The girl was in, reared in, in rural Randolph County. In fact, she later became a member of our staff. And when she was in Washington, I asked her, I said, where, where do you go to high school? She said, Eastern Randolph. So in a very cocky, condescending tone, I said, ah, oh, you're a wildcat. Yeah, I'm a wildcat. How would you know that? She was so impressed that I knew her school mascot, and I've gotten more good fun out of that. But I don't know them all. Don't bet against it. Howard Goebbels coming home, jackets and all. Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.